Hello, and welcome to a Tuesday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's currently 9.59pm on Monday, April 26th in New York City, which means one minute until some Tuesday crosswords. For that though, take a peek at yesterday's leaderboard, where 15 seconds was in fact enough for first. We had Chris and Amy in 20 and 23 seconds, very fast, as well as the Glorp, Joe Obi, and KFS Venta at 30 seconds or under. Always good gold. Then we had stickers, PB Geckner, Emerina, shout to Emerina, good luck on your job search, Emerina, Orioana, Bill Boris, Cape God, Gordo AM, Antaro Tuna, Credit, and Pandaguchi, all under one minute. Then we had Air Tangos, J Wu, Joy, Philly Fom, E Errol, M Heat 17, Chenny, Panda Doggy, all under two minutes. Then we had Lil Sun, Sia Sophia, Phil, Ball Don't Lie, J, To Nomad, and Lydian. By the way, Lydian, I got my copy of Mental Blocks today. Super excited to play it. Some, somebody play this with me. All right. Anyway, it's now uh, 10 o'clock in New York City, which means that we should have some Tuesday crosswords. So here's a spoiler alert for the Tuesday Mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Mini is always free to play. Uh, oh, I was on the wrong frame the whole time. All right, well, we're on this frame now, so let's just get into it. Error. Uh, epic. Rash. Prison. Oops. Uh, enough said. And test. Nice, 10 second mini. Um, I took a peek at this one and thought it might be paint before I went to the downs. Which is why Epic, Rash, and Risen went in. Enough said, and test, indeed. I'm not giving any tests this quarter, so it's problem sets that are stressors for my students. Issue, chefs, nice clue for chefs, people who are always stirring the pot, that's cute. And digital asset that may be worth millions, uh, that's a non-fungible token. That's uh, kind of hard, I think. And also, it's possible that non-fungible non tokens are worth also nothing, I think. I don't really know much about them, to be honest. Anyway, now for the main event, that is the Tuesday Daily Grid, that's by Jeff McDermott today. Here's a spoiler alert for the Daily Puzzle. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. It does require a New York Times game subscription. Without further ado, let's get into it. See one down, the sound of a carriage horse. Clop clop, doily feature, lace, what airlines sometimes do causing headaches. And. Before Omega, is it Phi, maybe? No, it's Psy. Gobble down, maybe Snarf, scoffs at, and sneers? Big wig. John Hurst is a bell for blank. Gray coat in the Civil War, and word after deep stir or small. That's all Fry. Yo, VIP, let's kick it. Uh, not sure. What's blank is blank. What's mine is mine? Figure in a negotiation. Taiwan's capital is Taipei. Like Adams vis a vis molecules. Like Rococo decoration. Blank the Great, okay? Lose. This is probably Labs, I guess. This might be Clop Clop. That's kind of weird. Ralph, who ran for president. That's Nader. Word repeated in that. Uh, is it what's done is done? Um, I don't know this. <laughs> oh, it might be Clip Clop. Ice Ice Baby. There we go. Uh, C42 down. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll do it. Al of S S Tom Sawyer. That's Huck Finn. Thank you to the I in Taipei. The P is Per. Rocks Kings of Leon, I think. This is gonna be Clues. Uh, not sure about that one. Retro Phototon is Sepia. Main drag through New Orleans is Bourbon Street. I've actually been there. Checks out. Retired Cross Atlantic Jet is SST. Second letter before Omega. Gosh, Phi. Once in a lifetime, Rage Ire. Uh, ornate here. What's fair is fair. Tinier and Auto the Great Offer. Stan Lee. Obsolete means of sending documents. Not sure. Photos. Snaps. Blank fiber. Hmm. Kind of torch. Tiki torch? Uh, over book, so it's not snaps. Shots, I guess? Libation made from the beginnings of those things. Ice, bourbon. Uh, not sure. Rice like pasta is orzo. Shoots and ladders. About 85% of Iberia is Spain. Toronto's province, Ontario. Pretty wood Rhinus is in. Time to set money aside. Rainy day. That's a nice fill. Queen of the gods and Roman myth. Blood typing letters. ABO. 
This is Amber's three strokes and a four. Par hole is birdie. Upstate is Oneonta, Oswego. This is Uno, telecommunications giant, Sprint, never used state, um, not sure. Respite break, DS Ray is the him. Vote in favor is yeah. Or yay. Computer heading is edit. Wealthy boyfriend, perhaps sugar daddy. Uh, Uber requests a ride. Out letters missing from this. Uh, figure it out later. Am amount employee earns. Wage. Burn superficially. Seer. Dubious settings is yetis. These are eyes. Big wigs. Kebab. No, no bob, I guess. Adano. It's probably a snarf. Optic fiber. Checks out scopes. It's Kai. Informal bed. Uh, not sure. Pine class filler is ale. Camera setup that often worn in the head. GoPro. Queen of the gods. Juno. Work to scare agent spied. This is going to be Oneida. Mint condition. Begins. Starts. It's a mess. Sty. UAE. Digit. Iraqi or Irani. Contaminate. Irani. Mutos. Nixes. Scissor cut. This is snip. Faxing. And futon. Julep. All right. <coughs> I like this theme. It's actually, um, Liz suggested a theme like this where the themers might spell out a recipe, which this one kind of does, right? But in, an, in a really nice way where the ingredients are also starts of nice phrases. Ice Ice Baby, Bourbon Street, Mint Condition, Sugar Daddy, all to make a julep. I don't think I knew that bourbon was in juleps, just because I'm not a big fan of mint, so I'm not a mint julep guy. I also don't wear seersucker suits or whatever you need. <laughs> um, yeah, nice puzzle. A little cross reviews I saw, but let's just take a peek around. See what we got here. Clip clop. I said clop clop at first, thinking maybe it would be some kind of repeating theme, but clip clop makes more sense actually. I knew this was snarf, but Oh man, Nabob and Adano and Reb. That's kind of rough. Uh, let's look up Nabob. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, huh? Nabob? Nabob. A Muslim official or governor under the Mughal Emperor, Empire, or a person of conspicuous wealth or high status. Historical, a person who returned from India to Europe with a fortune. A Nabob. You know, definitely seen this on Crossers before, but it's not one that I remembered. I'll try to remember it this time. Nabob, okay. Yeah, Luz and Labs oftentimes are clued the same way. What's fair is fair. Ice Ice Baby had several friends in college who could do the whole rap. So shout out to, uh, to Reap a Cheap. Huck Finn with a cross reference clue, which are okay. Bourbon Street, I have been there. It was for a math conference, though. Uh, 2010? 2011? Or something like that. Faxing. I guess it is obsolescent. Orzo is pretty commonly seen on puzzles if you're trying to get a Z. ABO, also pretty common. It's not that bad, though. I don't really consider that crossword ease. People know about it. DS ERA is a little crossword easy. I mean, it's well known enough. The Day of Wrath. So I think it has the same root as Ire, which is also in the puzzle, actually. Um, yeah, it's in the Requiem, the Funeral Mass. So it's, like, I think, relevant enough to appear, but it is a little crossword, crossword-y. Sugar Daddy is kind of fun. And eyes crossing eyes I thought was kind of interesting. I never actually got to the, to the eyes, the down eyes. We had two Greek letters clued as appearing before Omega. As a mathematician, I do know all the Greek letters. I use most of them often. I can never remember the order other than Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon. Maybe Eta and Zeta are next, but I, I couldn't tell you. Nabob is the one to remember. A bell for Adano. It's kind of a rough north section there. I'm sure this is more popular than I'm giving it credit for. It did win the 45 Pulitzer for fiction, but I am not familiar with it. That's my own fault, but okay. A Dano next to Nabob isn't easy for me, anyway. Shout out to all my Taiwanese friends. It's nice to see Taipei in the puzzle. Stan Lee. 
Nix is a nice word. I wonder, is this a... This seems like it might be a pangram, which means that every letter is probably in here. Because I see the X, the Z... Actually, is there a Q? Maybe no Q. But I, I like Nix's crossing faxes. That's not... I don't think that's egregious. Um, SST is very crosswordy. Just means supersonic transport. It's always clued. Supersonic or cross Atlantic jet, retired jet, former flyer, stuff like that. GoPro shot to Liz again, who used to work for GoPro and owns like, I don't know, too many GoPros, I would say. <laughs> Rainy day is a nice fill. Yeah. Altogether, pretty nice. A, a little bit of crossword glue here and there. But nice medium fills. I liked Rainy Day, and I liked uh, all the themers, I think. Yeah, the themers are all pretty nice. So, And it's a nice, it's a cute theme. And it played pretty fast. I think this maybe played a bit faster than yesterday for, for a lot of you. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Let's take a peek at some stats. Yeah, I guess it played a little slower than yesterday for me, but closer to my best. Uh, so faster for a Tuesday than yesterday was for a Monday, I guess. And let's take a peek at the leaderboard for tomorrow, see who we got. We got Stickers and Joy, nice and early. And you know what, on my other leaderboard, we got Joe Obi, also nice and early. Shout out to all of you. And shout out to you. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Wednesday puzzles.